Now, your local weather authority forecast from Chief Meteorologist Chris Yates. Welcome back. Scattered showers, thunderstorms continue to rumble across central Illinois. We've got some pretty heavy rain falling in parts of Livingston County. The heaviest now is just to the north and east of Pontiac. In fact, we've actually had some new flood advisories that have just come out for Livingston County. We'll go ahead and take our trip down to Livingston County first, and then we'll make our way back towards the west. We've got new showers and storms uh, on the way. All right, seeing some heavier downpours uh, basically just to the uh, to the east of Monunk, and then extending out towards Pontiac, Dwight, Odell. Now, we've seen repeated rounds of rain in these areas uh, throughout the afternoon, and that's likely going to continue even as we head into the evening. Let me pull up our radar estimated rainfall amounts because the rainfall amounts in these areas are starting to exceed two inches, at least in a few spots. So here's a look at the six-hour rainfall totals just over the last six hours. And you can see areas shaded in yellow near Dwight and extending just out towards the east there. Those are pockets of rain that have exceeded two inches uh, over the last six hours. Now, we've also seen some pretty heavy rain further south as well. Down near Fairbury, Chatsworth, again, a swath of two to four inches of rain cutting right through the Chatsworth area. So we've got a flood advisory. That one in southeast Livingston County runs until 730 this evening. And then for northeast Livingston County, this one runs until 915. Now, not everybody is seeing uh, the same type of rainfall intensity. In fact, once you get out just to the west of Pontiac, there's an area that hasn't seen any rain at all. But further to the west, we've gotten more thunderstorms starting to flare up back here, and they've been moving through parts of Fulton County. So we'll set the radar back, and we'll see, and we'll kind of track these as they start to head our general direction into parts of Peoria and Knox County. There we go. So you get some heavier downpours again in and around the Canton area. Another batch of storms pushing their way through parts of Tazewell. These are all moving to the north. We're not really expecting much out of them, but if you're in Peoria or at least some of the surrounding communities wouldn't rule out a quick quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain out of those storms alone. Now we've got more thunderstorm development back towards the west. Area of low pressure is slowly drifting and kind of wobbling its way through parts of Missouri. That's going to continue to work its way very slowly through central Illinois as we get into tonight and tomorrow. And right on the northern edge of the low of that tracks, uh, that low pressure center's track, you're going to be looking at that greater potential for pockets of heavier rain. So we've got a slight risk for flash flooding across central Illinois as we head through tonight, and we'll probably see some sort of threat carry on into tomorrow. Now, in terms of more widespread severe weather, that's been confined to areas basically along the Gulf Coast today. This slow-moving storm system, though, is going to continue to work its way east tonight into tomorrow. It doesn't really clear the area till tomorrow night. So the rain chances, they're going to linger until at least tomorrow evening, and then we should start to dry out a little bit. Future track, repeated rounds of showers and thunderstorms, most widespread prior to midnight, then becoming a little more isolated. And aside from a stray shower tomorrow morning, I think most areas are probably going to be dry for a few hours. Low temperatures will be around 60 tonight. For tomorrow, though, as that area of low pressure passes to our south, we get the scattered showers and thunderstorms ramping back up. Pockets of heavy rain will once again be a concern. It could lead to some localized areas of flash flooding. Now, through Tuesday night, these are average rainfall amounts. Average. There's going to be areas certainly that exceed that. You could see pockets of one to three inches of rain at times as the storms continue to push their way through. High temperatures back into the mid-60s, around 65 degrees here in Peoria, so it will be a bit cooler. The system then starts to move out. We're looking dry heading into Wednesday. Another cold front pushing in from the west looks to bring back another chance for some showers and thunderstorms by Thursday. But we'll see temperatures recover with a little bit of sunshine Wednesday. We should be back into the low to mid-70s. Here's the extended forecast. We can't seem to keep the rain away for more than two or three days at a time. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday could be our biggest break in the rain since the middle of April. Assuming those chances on Friday don't increase. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this.